Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my mod showcase video. Today we are getting piratey. I thought because the Sea of Thieves game has come out and it's been out a while to be honest. Um, and I absolutely love that game. It's absolutely sick. If you haven't played it yet, definitely recommend playing it. So I thought I really want to do a Minecraft pirate mod showcase or something like that. And I have found the perfect mod for today, guys. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Mr. Dude, I'm like... Bro, why, bro? Why? Anyway, bad villager. Bad. Um, yes, we are going to be looking at the Pixel Pirate mod today, guys. And oh my goodness, it is freaking amazing. Absolutely love this thing. It is got so much going on with it. As you see, but there's a lot to go through today. So, before we do start the video, make sure you go and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell button. And let's get on with the video. So, I'm going to run you through everything you're kind of going to kind of need um the most important kind of stuff to be honest so let's waste no more time and take a gander so one of the most important things in the mod today guys is the smelter and to make this smelter you're gonna need clay and you're gonna need the bucket and this is exactly what it looks like how to craft it so uh, that's how i set pretty much all of this up it has taken me a hella ton of time guys a lot of time it's taken me to do this so in this in the um smelter to make all the stuff we need we're going to need the coal and we're going to need iron so boom if we go over here you're going to slap the coal in there you're going to slap the iron up here and that's going to do its beautiful thing as you see it has a little bit of an animation going on not too much of an animation would be cooler if it had a bit more but there is so much to this mod that i can let this one slide so if we go over here Let's say that has been going for a while and it's given us a lot of these guys. Slag iron ingots. So we go over here. Next we're going to need the cooling rack. And technically the cooling rack is something that's going to come in handy later. But I will show you the process now because we are going to need these slag iron ingots to craft a lot of the stuff down here. Well, pretty much everything actually. So just for the purposes of quick and time. I'm going to show you what to do to cool stuff down. So this works with every type of um, iron, slag iron ingot. Um, as you'll see later, there'll be slag iron, uh, blades, gun barrels, hooks, all that sort of stuff. If it looks like this kind of colour, it will work in the cooling rack. So you're going to want a bucket of water. You're going to slap that in there. And then it's going to go through here. And I think one bucket of water lasts for a fair few amounts, I think, if I remember correctly. I haven't waited till a whole bucket's been used, to be honest. And there you go, and it's given us cool, cool iron. So in this state, you can use it for crafting. When it's in this state, it's, it's solid again. So it's not useless, but you know what I mean. So, over here, another very important item today, guys, is the mould. And this is going to come in handy with a lot of the weapons we're going to be looking at. And as I said, there is some sick weapons. We've got cutlasses, we've got guns, we've got muskets, we've got muskets with bayonets. That is how cool a stuff we've got today, guys. So, to make the clay, this is what it looks like. You're going to need sticks. Um, to make the mould, sorry. You're going to need clay, you're going to need sticks. And it's going to be set up exactly like that. And it's going to give you eight mould. Okay. Ooh, take a breather. So over here to the slag blade. To make the blade, you're going to need the mold. You're going to need slag iron ingot. And then you're going to need a slag iron plate. Literally, to make the slag iron plate, you put this guy in the crafting table. And it gives you about four of these things. So that is really simple. I didn't feel like that needed to be shown. Um, because it is, yeah, just slap it. Slap this in the crafting table. We'll give you this. Okay, simple. And you get this beautiful slag blade. And this is going to be used to craft the sword um, stuff later. So that is how that bad boy is made. So if we move on over here now, we get the slag hook. The slag hook takes a bit more. It's two slag irons, um, the two molds, and then the slag blade gives you this hook. Okay, whew. over here onto the gun barrel. So this... <laughs> Very, very important, because you're going to want to make a gun, guys. Let's be honest. You're here to make some sick pirate weapons and look pretty awesome. Also, I'm sorry when it gets dark in here. I can't change the time. I do not have permission in this world, apparently, and I haven't bothered to go to my config files to change that. So, 
Anyway, to make the gun barrel is the two slag irons here and the mold gun barrel. Beautiful. And you own, you do only get one of each going through these guys. So just remember that. And so here to make slag chainmail, very simple. Slag iron ingot mold. This mod to make stuff in, guys, isn't very expensive. That is why I love it. Um, so you can become a pirate so quickly, so easily. It's so worth it. And if you're wondering what these guys are, these are one of the mobs um, in the mod later. We're going to be looking at this guy. But as you see in my top left-hand corner, it is a ghost pirate. Yes, there's special um, spawns in this world, like sunken ships. And these guys chill there. But they're pretty, they're pretty relaxed, actually. Um, but anyway, on to the actual weapon crafting, which we all really want to see. Okay, so here we have the cutlass. So to make these blades and for them to be like this, you literally take that slag blade and you put it in the cooling rack and it cools down and it gives you normal blades and then you can, yeah, make, make all this. <laughs> make all this sick stuff. So we're going to grab that. We're going to have this blade and we're going to test them out properly later. But for some reason, they just do not work in the pirate. Oh, yeah, maybe they do. I was hitting the wrong hitbox. But as you see, the regen on this guy is ridiculous. I wish, I wonder if I could make them fight in a mob battle, because that would be insane with that regen. But anyway, we are getting off track. So next we're going on to the flintlock. So to make the flintlock, you're going to need the gun barrel, you're going to need flint and steel, you're going to need oak planks, and you're going to need an iron plate. So yet again, cool these bad boys down in the cooling rack, and you're going to be sorted. So we're going to grab that, but you are going to need ammunition for this. So don't you worry, we're going to come on to that later. So next we have just the normal musket. You're going to need a bit more because the musket is more powerful. So you're going to need an extra gun barrel added onto that. But for the extra gun barrel guys, it's totally worth it. It's also a bigger gun and it looks sick. So over here we have the musket with the bayonet. Yet again, I would definitely go for this. So we're going to grab that out. And yeah, it's just the only addition to it that the other musket doesn't have is, yeah, the blade bit here. So very simple, very easy, love it. So, the ammunition I was on about, guys, is crafted like this. The gunpowder trail, I haven't shown you how to craft it because it's literally just get a bit of gunpowder from a creeper, slap it in the crafting table and it gives you four gunpowder trails. Very simple, very easy to get, yet again... Nothing hard about this mod as of yet. There is intricate things you can do with this mod, like movement. You can make, um, was, what did I see? Like, aqueducts kind of thing. There's, there's, there's some insane stuff in this mod, and it does go more in depth, but we are just interested in this awesome stuff at the moment. So, let's grab the shot out. So, we're going to need that, that bad boy. And then, guy, oh, you know what? We're going to leave that. We're going to leave that for now. I'm changing game mode, and we are going to fight some zombies we're gonna fight some zombies actually I'm gonna need more of these there we go that's about right okay here we go wicked and we are gonna be fighting the mobs in this mod later oh no I can't change game mode oh well this has just occurred to me my bad so I'm gonna show you guys how to load up these weapons so to load up every single weapon all the guns you're gonna need to hold down your right mouse button just hold it for a bit of time, count for like 3 seconds, boom. When you release the um, mouse button, it should flick forward like that. Just a cool flick forward, and that's how you know it is loaded. So, there we go, boom. And right click again to fire. So, there we go, we'll do it one more time with this musket. So, right click, hold it down, hold it down. It's almost like it's loading like a bow. And boom, it flicks forward and it is loaded, locked and loaded. Okay, can I, can I hit this guy? Can I hit this guy? Yes, I can, because I'm a boss. From a distance, can we go, let's go again. How far can I, can I hit the, um, oh, was it Iron Golem? No, I can't. Maybe I can't hit from that far. Let's try one more time. Let's aim it a bit down. Here we go. That seems about right. Yes, I got him. Yes, nailed it. I'm like a sniper. I am the pure British sniper. Okay, so. Next, we have on the weapons side of things, we have a grenade. Yeah, we have grenades in this mod, guys. 
we, you can't be a pirate without your pirating grenades. I mean, come on, it's it's common knowledge, really. I mean, get with the times. So, the, the grenade, it is made like this. Iron plates, string, and gunpowder. And, yep, yeah, let's throw a grenade. Let's see. It, oh, okay, so, yep. Yeah, the grenade, for getting doesn't do damage to buildings, but does a hell of a ton of damage to mobs. I think it does 20 damage on hit. So, that is a fair, decent amount of damage. Let's throw it over here. Can I get that enderman... Oh, yeah, that Enderman, he down. That Enderman down for the count. Bro! Oh, are we getting in the ghost? No, nope, they're regenerating like bosses. Yep. Oh, Kira made mistakes. I made I made very grievous mistakes, and I think I might have just ruined what I set up over there. But I guess I'll just have to see when I go over there. Okay, so, yes, over there, we have a few more pirate stuff set up on my beautiful pirate ship. Look at that, look at that guys. Look how sick that ship looks. Because I'm a true pirate, this is my pirate ship. This is my pirate port. And yeah, this is my pirate gun. Pew! Okay, cool. So, let's, I'm gonna go fly over to that ship and just see how much stuff I just accidentally destroyed. Okay, yes, I did accidentally destroy some of my stuff over here, but I've, I've set it back up now, guys. It's all good, it's all good in the hood. So, I bet you were wondering, Kieran, where is your pirate outfit? Well, here it is. This is as piratey as it actually gets in this mod. Could do with better. I have seen other pirate mods with, like, eye patches and stuff. Deadpool would love an eye patch, guys. Come on. Hook Deadpool up with an eye patch, man. I'd look sick with an eye patch. But anyway, here we go. This is the suit of armor. In this mod, so we're gonna grab that out. Here we go, boom, boom, boom. To make it, it's just like normal armor, guys. Not really much. Why did it disappear? Oh well, it's right here anyway. So we're gonna grab that back out. Uh, here we go, wicked, loving it. Boom. Okay, let's pop this on. This mod is absolutely sick, and as you see, a bit of a different texture on the helmet. This is called the ghost form stuff. So it is quite. It's not as I think it's as powerful as diamond armor, guys. So it is quite, it's quite a strong set of armor. So I'd recommend getting it. Not too bad to get. You do have to take, somehow take out these ghosts, I think it is. And they, they will get it. Or you'll find them in their chests, actually. Yeah, that's it. You find them in the chest, in their shunk, sunken ships. The chests kind of look like this. Um, but they'll be at the bottom of the ocean. So you're going to want to go hunting for that. So, there's lots of stuff it actually adds to the ocean, guys. You even get coral in this mod. That is how cool this stuff is. Coral. I mean, sure, if you download the 1.13 update, you get coral. But who cares about that? We care about pirate coral, guys. Pirate coral is cooler. So, another thing in this mod, guys, are cannons. Because, as you can see here, my beautiful ship, the SSKD does have cannons already installed, it's got these guys, but I decided we need better cannons, we need stronger cannons, and that is where this mod comes in handy, here we go, we've got our beautiful cannon right there, this is how the cannon is made, gun barrel, rope, and oak wood planks, and of course, you need cannonballs for the cannon, obviously, it's just, just common sense, really, so, to craft the cannonballs, you're gonna need gunpowder and iron plates, yet again, Nothing is too hard to get. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to get on this guy. So right click. Here we go. I've loaded it up. And I'm actually going to need a... There we go. Flint and steel. And there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Just wait for it to go down. And it's going to fire off any second now. Any, any second? Any sec? Any second? Did I load the fireball cannonball up right? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Okay, I'm going to have to go try this again and wait for it to load. Oh, my ship's on fire. This is this is a bit of a kerfuffle, guys. Oh, errors have been made. Errors have been made. Okay, so I figured it out. Um, ignore the giant hole in the side of my ship. <laughs> just, some, just some maintenance. Had nothing to do with that fire just now. Pfft, no, I chose to have this massive gaping hole in the side of my ship. Be quiet, guys. You know what I'm like. Okay, so, actually, dismount. You've got to put the cannonball in. Boom, right click, should have gone in. Then you've got to mount the cannon, right click. And then you've got to set the fuse. And hopefully it's going to go off this time. Boom, there we go. 
Nailed it. But the cannon will fire wherever you're looking. So make sure you're looking in a sensible direction. Not at the ground. Okay, there we go. Loaded up. Let's jump back on. Okay, here we go. Let's light that fuse. And let's look to that tree and hopefully we'll... Yes! Come on, come on, come on. Booyah! Nailed it. Absolutely freaking nailed it. We are pure pirate. We are pirate bosses. Okay, so let's continue to set more of these off. I mean, yeah, I know fire, ship, this is not going very well. But you know what? Hey ho, we do not care. We are pirates and we'll just probably go drink rum later or, or, or something like that. I don't know, pirate stuff. Okay, boom, let's light one more and why not? We're going to aim at these guys. You know what? Shouldn't have done that because I realised that was my chest. I'm having, it's very late guys, I'm very tired. So I'm going to go now grab the stuff. I just blew out my chest and hopefully it won't all burn down the SSKD. Oh gosh, my ship's so on fire right now. No, my golem captain is dying. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, so now it is time to look at the mobs in this mod, guys. And it comes with four different mobs, or is it five nowadays? It is five nowadays. So, five different mobs for us to look at. You have seen one already. These ghost piratey things, as I said, they spawn in shipwrecks in the ocean because that is where ships are and that is where they get wrecked. Yes, seems pretty simple. But yeah, so we're gonna, you don't really need those, those spawned in to be honest, but there we go, hey ho, there he is, looking ghosty as ever and piratey I guess. Um, don't uh, kind of makes sense, they've got no legs, uh, sort of. But the next mob is a rat, so you see these spawn on the ships as well and pretty much anywhere. So they're vermin and because, you know, pirate life, we live with rats and we like rats, I think. As a pirate, do I like rats? I don't know. You guys let me know. As a pirate, do I like rats? These poor rats are perishing anyway. They actually have quite a lot of help. Um, wow, these rats are strong. So we're going to set a few of these guys loose on the ship. So run around, do rat-like things. Maybe I'll shoot one with a musket. That's probably a shout, isn't it? Boom, there we go. Loaded. Can I hit one? Yes, I did. Got him. Nailed it. Wow. Oh, I didn't expect that. So... The next mob we have, I'm going to use Pirate with a Cutlass. So, 20 HP, Pirate with a Cutlass. You are looking nifty. You're looking cool. You're looking prepared to fight. I'm going to make you walk the plank, sucker. Okay, here we go. And uh, boom. He has perished. They don't really drop anything. They only drop you XP. And I think it's very rare that they will even drop their weapons. So, we'll spawn another dude in. This is the pirate with a gun. As you see, he's got the flintlock, so he's got the lesser gun. So it's not it's not the top top gun this guy's got, um, but you know he's on fire. Oh gosh, the fire's reaching up my. No, no, this has gone terribly, terribly wrong. My beautiful ship. Oh gosh, will we make it to the end of the episode with the ship intact? Probably not. Okay, so next we have. Well, you know what? Here we go. Here we go. I want to see if someone will get spawned in with a musket. You're going to get spawned in with a musket? No, no, you are not. So, that is the pirate with the gun. Let's take him out with my gun. So, here we go. Bro, are you prepared? No, no, he was not. So, we're going to load up. Boom. So, oh, look, there we go. He dropped us iron plate and some shots. That is beautiful. Works really well with what he's carrying. I like that. That is well thought through. So, the n final mob. Oh, bad fire. The final mob we have is a grenade pirate. Look at this guy. He's got. He's carrying his grenade. He will throw this at you without hesitation. He is savage. He's probably the most aggressive of the mobs. He is just a machine. Uh, now, at this point in time, I'm just putting out fire. Oh, well, we're going to move this party somebody somewhere else. How is this area of the ship not even harmed? How? How is this possible? Okay, so there we go. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, I was hoping we'll see this in action. Maybe these guys will throw stuff at the golem. Okay, here we go. Pirate with the gun. Pirate with the gun. Go on, do piratey stuff with the guns. Okay, the iron golem is just a machine. Oh, there we go. He actually, they actually used the gun. Oh, my goodness. That was awesome, actually. Damn, that gun powerful. Oh, oh, they're having none of it. Imagine, just set loose one of these guys on your ship, on a ship with a few of these. You just wreck them all. And they are dropping a lot of stuff, to be fair, on them. 
So, that is those guys. And, guys, that is pretty much it for today. We have covered all the stuff, how to craft it, what's in this mod, and how genuinely epic this mod is. It is so up there in one of my top mobs, um, top uh, mods, rather, uh, to use for exploration and just general fun. It is a great laugh, just going around, being a pirate, doing pirate stuff. As I said... You get um, random spawns of ships in the world. So you go around, you find a ship, a load of those pirates will spawn on them and you've got to fight them, take control of the ship. It's so good, guys. It's so much fun. So, if you liked today's episode, make sure to smash that like button, guys, as it did take me a long time to set up today's episode, so I would very much appreciate that. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet by the end of the video, make sure you do that. Until next time, guys, see ya.